Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to come on here to give you guys an update on the Nreal Airs. So this is a device that I've talked about quite a bit on this channel. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, I will link a video up here or a playlist. So that way you can check out some of my other videos covering this device. But this has definitely been something that has been pretty life-changing. Uh, it's got its flaws, of course, but I think I've gotten quite a bit of value out of this. So uh, I wanted to continue to give back to you guys and sort of show you what's going on, what the state of this device is. So in my last video talking about the Nebula beta app for the Mac, I had mentioned that you can now connect these to the Mac and as long as you're using an Apple Silicon MacBook, you'll have no issues. You can also use this with a iMac and you can have up to three virtual monitors sort of uh, around you. So one in the center, one in the left, and one on the right. And it uses cameras that are on your MacBook to basically track the glasses and your facial uh, position so that way you can look to the left or to the right and it'll all update automatically. As I had mentioned in that video though, there were a couple of issues that I was having, namely the white flickering. So if you were on a web page, for example, or you were using something like PowerPoint or Word where you have an all white environment, uh, you would basically have this sort of flickering effect which could get pretty distracting and a little bit fatiguing. They have been working on that. It's not fully resolved yet, I don't think, but uh, it's to a level that it doesn't bother me as much as it did initially. So if you had issues with it, definitely try it again now. They did update the firmware on this and it has resolved some of those issues. The other thing, which is the main feature uh, of this update, is that now you can change the viewing distance of the screen using the Nebula Beta app. So if you have the three monitors, you can now push them closer to you or bring them further back. And you can also adjust the height to make them larger or smaller, uh, which you could do before, but now it's just a little bit more intuitive using sliders rather than uh, buttons with sort of presets. So this is gonna be great for those of you who have had trouble viewing text or other things like that using the Unreal Airs uh, in this regard, you can now bring the screens closer to you and so it'll look a lot more clear and a lot sharper for you. So hey, are you guys liking this video? If you are, feel free to drop a sub down below. It's really greatly appreciated. I put out weekly content and I cover topics ranging from technology to uh, education, lifestyle type of content. So if any of that interests you, definitely drop me a sub. All right, so back into the video. So the Steam Deck here is one of the main reasons why I bought the Unreal Airs to begin with. And as I had mentioned in my original reviews of the Unreal Airs, playing games on the Steam Deck is fantastic. It's a great experience with the Unreal Air. Since you have the screen attached to your face, you can lay down in bed and you have no obstruction to your view. You can get as comfortable as you like and just enjoy your Steam Deck games. One thing though that I have noticed recently, and this is likely down to just the software and uh, how it interacts with Valve's hardware. Um, sometimes I'll be playing a game, I'll get maybe 20, 25 minutes in and then the video will cut out from the Unreal Airs and I'll have to disconnect the cable and plug it back in. That usually resolves it, but it's sort of jarring. And especially if you're playing a game like Elden Ring where you know you have a lot of fast action and you can't actually truly pause the game, this could be a bit of a problem. So I did wanna update you guys if you were interested in using it with the Steam Deck. There have been kind of compatibility issues that have uh, sort of inhibited me from actually wanting to use it all the time. But since I bought the Unreal Airs, I've actually found that my primary use case for them is watching movies on the iPad, which is absolutely an amazing experience. If you've ever gotten frustrated by, say, you know, not being able to find a comfortable position to watch a movie on your TV, or you have glasses like me, and, you know, whenever you lay down, your glasses are sort of pushing up against your face. 
The Unreal Airs really solve all of those problems, especially if you go ahead and use the link in my description to check out today's sponsor, which is the VR Optician. So the VR Optician is a licensed optician in Germany, and they use the very highest quality Zeiss optics for all of their lenses that they produce. You can get your exact prescription in either clear or blue blocking lenses, and they even have a brand new option for the new PSVR2. So if you guys are into the PSVR2 or the Unreal Airs, they have an option for you. Go and check them out in the link below for 5% off. Now back to the video. As I had mentioned, watching videos with the Unreal Airs is an amazing experience. And I think that ever since I had made the video talking about the uh, Nebula Beta app, when they released the firmware that allowed the Nebula Beta app to work on the Mac, it also increased the screen size on the Unreal Airs, which is a very welcome update. I know a lot of people have complained saying, oh, the Unreal Air display is a little bit too small. You know, uh, it's not exactly what they advertise. I think it is exactly what they advertise. It's just, like I said, you have to understand perspective and distance and how those affect the sort of perceived screen size. With the new update, the display is noticeably different. So if you haven't updated your glasses since last year, I would highly recommend doing that you will get a larger screen and a better experience overall when you're watching movies or you're working with the Nebula Beta app. If you guys had any issues, uh, definitely make sure that you're up to date. And if you don't know how to update or uh, your update failed for some reason, check this link up here. I made a whole video showing you guys exactly how you wanna update your glasses. All right, and so with that being said, that has been the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop me a like and leave me a comment down below. Are you guys using the Unreal Airs? Do you want to get into them? Has there been something that's stopping you? I wanna know, uh, so let's talk down there and I will see you guys in the next video.